What you're seeing here isn't footage from the latest Grand Theft Auto video game. This is actually New York City, where the citizens just casually watch it happen. Now a lot of people are asking why the gray SUV didn't just speed off here, but from a second angle you can see he was actually stuck. Gonna shoot him. So the black Mercedes was able to flee easily. Now the New York Post says the thieves got away with $20,000 in cash. So obviously there's a lot more to this story as to how the robbers knew there would be that much cash in that SUV, how they knew the driver would be a docile unarmed target, and how they actually executed two solid pit maneuvers. Now I'm not saying these guys were necessarily off duty cops, but with the revolving door of New York City's justice system, why wouldn't they? Because they said they recovered the vehicle, but nobody's gonna wreck their own Mercedes over $20,000, so it's obviously stolen. But don't worry though guys, because these robbers are gonna be in so much trouble. Now that New York City's mayor Eric Adams is announcing these two-way free zones, they're going to be wetting themselves but probably not in the way where they're scared because they're committing six felonies instead of just five, but in the excited way because they just realize that as long as they target law-abiding citizens in NYC, everybody's going to be an easy target. So what other goblin-brained ideas is NYC doing to curb their skyrocketing crime rates? Well, it looks like they're coming down hard on whipped cream, as you now need to provide ID to get these canisters. Because now in New York City, it's harder to buy whipped cream than it is to vote. So never mind the fact they have a justice system where you can just skip out on your court appearances on 12 different occasions, you can rest easy because the whipped cream is safe. So enjoy New Yorkers, my only hope is if you're just like me and you're going to flee a Democrat stronghold, you remember why you're leaving those areas and vote accordingly. So if you appreciate my lighthearted, concise commentary on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help us finally get to 90,000 ducks despite all the nonsense. And check out my video on how New York City is becoming Brazil because they're probably hiding it from you.